Hey, how's it going? Chris here, back in Oklahoma, into the monsoonal time of the season, I guess. A lot of rain. And I'm a, not making much solar power. We're going to be doing a uh, first-time use of this impact wrench, 20-volt deal, on the truck. And when I got back to Oklahoma, I had the boys down at Discount Tire, Rotate and Balance, on here and I took it through the car wash got it all cleaned up so we'll get a chance to see how well they did putting the lugs back on and overdue on doing a video on the solar stuff but I uh, can say everything is running really really well when I got back in the of course I shut everything down when I was out of town and essentially all it was is just throwing a few breakers to get the, this thing going but uh, yeah, it came right up. No problem. No problem. Of course, this was looked at by several professionals and an electrical engineer, and they all really, 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 really liked it. Clean work. This is 4 out right here. Welding cable. It's the only thing that isn't THHN. And the solar comes in here. Okay. Everything is energized here. These are panel mount C breakers, non-polarized. Over here is the big one, 250. Down here are the Carling panel mount C breakers. They're labeled line and load, so that's the way I wired them. Okay. Redid here a little bit with the network switch these are all lined up everything's running nice and cool new fan on here new cable on here and basically everything is, has been redone on this solar stuff it's, it's never run better but you got to have sun to make power so there you have it I'll get a little bit more into it later and uh, Let's put the camera on the tri tripod and get after this uh, impact wrench and see how it goes. All right, safety first. Put my safety glasses on and gloves. See how this butter goes. Nice and quiet Saturday here. Nobody's out doing anything. All right, this is the DCF 880 cordless 20 volt lithium impact wrench, half inch drive. In there. Okay. Let's just put a battery in and see what happens. sure if these are metric or what so I got both metric and Stanley Stanley half inch I bought these when I got my air wrench about four years ago uh, this is SAE I also have a um, one of those locking deals on there too. so let's just find out which one it is definitely not that one probably 1360 maybe Seven eighths. It's kind of loose, so it tells me it's probably a metric. So let's pull up the metric here. This is going to be a, looks like a twenty-two. Perfect fit. So this is a twenty-two on there. I don't have a torque wrench. I got a torque wrench on order, uh, but this is just for demonstration purposes. You always want to torque these babies back 
to uh, whatever the manufacturer says they are. But well, we're just going to pop one off here. See what happens if it pops off. How about that? Came right off. Let's put this bugger back on. It'll be interesting to see the uh, what this thing is torqued at because I don't know what uh, what the torque value is on here. That works. Cool. No problem. <laughs> that was easy. All right.